Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, apologies if you can hear music. My fucking upstore na upstairs neighbors are just blasting music right now. <clears throat> um, so the Rayman DLC is out for Sparks of Hope. We'll get to that eventually, but first... Um, we're gonna do the last Spark Hunter. So my original plan was I was just gonna do the Rayman DLC and do the last Spark Hunter on my own. <clears throat> One sec. Alright, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I was gonna play this on my own, but I played it for about an hour and went, you know what, I think there's enough here that I could enjoy it on stream. Uh, I'm overall disappointed with how... Okay, so I like Mario and Rabbids quite a bit. I still think the first game is better than Sparks of Hope, but that's just me. I still enjoyed Sparks of Hope for what it was. But I don't like Ubisoft, and I don't like how they handled this. Because, like, the Donkey Kong expansion in the first game was great. But the way that they, you know, spread this out across the season pass is uh, not not good. Don't 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 like that. Uh, I have zero interest in the Tower of Doom. It's just the challenge mode that unlocks weapon skins for the base game. Ooh, I don't give a shit. Um, Last Spark Hunter is just World 6. It is just the base game, but they added a, no a new world. And that's all it is. Which makes me wonder, why did they release it as a separate like, game mode with its own file select. Why not just add it as an optional World 6 to the base game? Because, like... That's all it is. It's a new world. It, it takes place immediately after Baron Dale Mesa. And it... They increase the level cap, and they added new sparks. And it's like, why not just tack that onto the base game? <laughs> like, why is it a separate mode? I don't understand that. Ubisoft is so fucking weird with their decisions. Like, this I understand. Because that's its own separate thing with Rayman. That's just like the Donkey Kong expansion. Except I don't think this is going to be a full-on expansion. I think this is just going to be, like, a, just another world. But Rayman's in it. <laughs> So yeah, I am overall... Like, I wasn't even going to buy this. Like, the other reason I own these two is because it was cheaper to buy the whole package than just Rayman. And so... <laughs> I figured, well, I have it. Let's just stream it. Um, so yeah, I will start over just to show off the opening cutscene and the first level. And then I'm just going to load this file. Because I already set up all the characters. You're advised to play the main game before starting. Yeah, like, why not just... Why not just have this in the main game? Like, I, I, I don't get it. Because <laughs> if you're going to advise people to play the main game first anyway, like... <laughs> just questionable. I don't get it. I don't want to make it any louder because the actual, like... Oh, I'll turn it up to 50. Because the actual, um... Like, the battle scenes are loud as fuck. <laughs> and... It's... An Ubisoft game, but technically still a Nintendo game, so there's no volume options. <laughs> they are the perfect bomb for our jangled nerves after our harrowing adventures on Barrendale Mesa. On a positive note, however, Baron Del Mesa did give us the opportunity to decisively defeat the last of the Spark Hunters. Also, are they suddenly pronouncing Mesa correctly, or is it just... is it just Genie that says Mesa? <laughs> I know it can technically be either way, 
but I've like seriously straight up never heard it said Mesa before until Genie said it. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> You're the only person on the planet that says Mesa. Lipo, I have double and triple checked the signal. The melodic gardens have gone completely silent. Oh, they're all dead, Jim. That's impossible! The entire planet is a living symphony! Uh, unless it's going through a minimalist phase. <laughs> I believe I have found another explanation. A very recent outbreak of dark mess activity on the planet. Yeah, well. Genie, change calls to the Melodic Gardens at once! Uh. But we're going to Curse's stronghold. We'll get there as soon as possible, Rabbit Rosalina, I promise. They could only afford two voice actors. But if we don't save the Melodic Gardens first, we may be walking into the lion's den with a viper at our heels. You know, small indie company, Ubisoft. <laughs> well, I mean, each rabbit does have their own voice, but it's just, you know, the battle lines. <laughs> Yeah, this takes place right after Bandale Mesa, before the final world. So, like, why isn't this just a part of the base game? Why is it its own separate thing? I'm just so puzzled by that decision. Beepo, the air density here on the Melodic Gardens has been drastically altered. Until it has been returned to normal, our ship will be unable to achieve the thrust necessary to escape its atmosphere. Thrust. Hmm. Nothing will be normal here until we rid the melodic gardens of dark mess. Rest assured, it will be difficult. How difficult? We'll just play on average. <laughs> of course, this level of difficulty could change at any point during our mission, but that's nothing new for us, is it? Uh, now let's hurry before we attract any unwanted attention. Wow, look at all these... Look at this colorful roster of characters. You're not going to see most of them. <coughs> so one thing I will do... <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> one thing I will do is... Put the shield guy... on her. And the regen guy on Mario. I guess let me try that. I tried the user last time and it didn't work very well. He kind of just sat there and then I couldn't summon another one. So it was like, oh, okay, well that was a waste of a, a slot. <laughs> <coughs> oh yeah, another thing I didn't like about this game. Uh, there's no music. There's no sound at all in the menus. Also, these, these spark trees, get rid of them. <laughs> I hate. I hate the, uh, the spark trees. default um the default 
wonderful way that they did this. <laughs> Which is another reason I wish this was just an extension of your uh, base file. Okay, we won't be here long. Don't need that. Uh, do need this. I don't know if they brought all three of the same composers back. <coughs> or who did the music for the DLCs? I'll have to look into that later. I'm gonna need to use the cannon to make it out of here. Thankfully, you got me to show you the ropes. See the button on that ground plate? There are two of them. See that other one there? Cannon launching you to the safe zone won't activate unless you press both buttons. Easy, huh? Oh, and one more thing. Win this battle and I'll be free to join you. Be on guard. If my analysis is correct, we will soon see a new and terrible foe hatch from those shell-like chrysalises. Once defeated, they will return to their egg state and emerge rejuvenated. Unless you dash them while they're in the egg. A dangerous enemy indeed. I strongly suggest having a closer look at them using the Tacticat. Oh yeah, <clears throat> that's another reason I didn't like Sparks of Hope as much as the first game. Because all the enemies in Sparks of Hope are kind of just... Like, these two right here are from the first world. And here they are, five worlds later. Just the same enemy, nothing different. This is the only new thing in this uh, DLC so far, is the golem. <laughs> and you could make the argument in the first game that each world also just has the same enemies, but they're not exactly the same. They have completely unique palettes for each world. Their abilities change for each world. And then when you start doing the challenges and they start mixing and matching each world's, like, variant enemies, you get some very interesting challenges. Uh, this game, every enemy is just what it is for the entire game, and they just crank their stats up, and that's super boring. <laughs> his own thing. The ladies are gonna go this way.
Oh yeah, that's another thing I've noticed in this DLC. Sometimes your weapons will just randomly have an element applied to them. Oh, that destroys cover. <laughs> I don't think I'll be using that super often. Twice at close range, not super great. trigger last time. You know what? Really not enough. Okay, with the crit it was. The only downside to Solo Mario is you don't get to see his um Wait, this is off cooldown already? Oh, it only has a one turn cooldown. That's cool. Because <laughs> I never used Mario in the late game. Yeah, he apparently just has a uh, infinite freaking. So I actually don't want to kill him with Mario. If I can avoid it. Ha! <laughs> 
There's a lot about the game that I don't fully remember. Ah, okay, the heel jump only activates the one time. He's not in range. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna ignore this guy. I kind of can't. How long does this last? The next three turns. Oh yeah. That is not enough to kill. That is. One down. Because if you don't dash them when they're in this egg, they immediately come back. Like, the next turn, they just immediately get back up. Which is not great. <laughs> See why does she just this never happened in the base game, right? Like this is a mechanic of this DLC that I imagine will get explained at some point. <laughs> because right now it's just she just randomly had I hope I can reach that. Yeah, she just randomly had uh, electric damage for no reason. <laughs> oh, I think Edge has like wind damage or something on hers. fire damage. Yeah, I guess his hero sight is just every turn, he just has it.
Oh no, <laughs> she can't reach the the cannon. So yeah, fire damage still isn't like the best thing because this happens. Oh, he's not even moving. <laughs> he's just chilling right there. Yeah, this guy I'm not even gonna fucking worry about. That was no damage at all. <laughs> what a garbage skill that is. up they increase the level cap <laughs> which is the main reason I was like oh maybe I should stream this actually because there's more to play with than just some new sparks like this actually seems like a a big thing however I'm probably still just gonna use the same three characters through all of it because uh most of the cast in this game is kind of trash since we are close to the source, open your ears to the Biophony, the most emotionally uplifting eco music in the galaxy. <laughs> Anything 
could completely silence the melodic gardens, even darkness. Beepo, I believe I understand. Melodic Gardens is out of balance due to the muzzling of its symphonic ecosystem. For example, the planet's air density has become much heavier, which is preventing our ship from launching. Given that all music is merely a determinant of the mathematical laws of harmonics, could we not simply reconstruct the planet's biophonies digitally to restore harmony to the Melodic Gardens? Gee, real music cannot be reduced to mere mathematics. Why, the two have as much in common as an octave to an octopus. Interesting that an octave is the distance between the first and eighth note of a major scale, and an octopus has eight... Enough, genie! And with that... I'm gonna duck out of this file. I did that mission in half the time it took me to do it the first time, because I sent Mario and Rabbit Peach along to the right and edge off on her own. And that didn't work as well. <laughs> I still say this game would have been better if you had four. Because, like, the boss fights where you have four squad members were the most fun parts of the game, so if they just, like, had that as a mechanic, just like an unlockable four of slot. I know the game was balanced around three, but. There are some missions where you just have to split up, and having one t team member that's just not able to team jump. is, uh, not great. So yeah, I have this file where I already went through everyone's skill trees. I mean everyone. <laughs> I tried to get it as close to uh, what I had in the base game as I could from what I can remember. Like I actually loaded it up and took a look. And I leveled up this guy, and this guy. They, they put them all down to level 4. Which is for, like, arbitrary um, progression. Which is stupid, but whatever. I like the whole, like, theming going on here. That's another issue I had with this game, is two of the worlds are just the same world. There's, like, the the fall world with, like, the spooky forest, and then there's the, the other forest world with, like, the Wiggler boss at the end. I, I don't remember the specific details between either one too clearly, because I always think they're the same world. <laughs> they blend together in my memory, because there's just so little, like... Hmm. 
difference between either of them. Because you got like the stormy beach world to start. All right, that's cool. You got the uh, snowy mountain. All right, fair enough. And then you have. I right, have to remember how to do all these uh, puzzle mechanics. And then you have, I think, both of the forest worlds, like, just back to back. I don't remember which one comes first. <laughs> and then you have the Mesa, which is the, um... Like, Borderlands Pandora world, just desolate wasteland of a moon. And now we have this, which is another forest slash jungle. <laughs> I don't know, I just think the first game is a little more succinct with its worlds. And also, the first game is short and sweet. Like, I can play through that game so much. And it's not that much of an investment. It doesn't take long to get through. Whereas this game kind of just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. Uh, the enemies were way too health spongy in this game, I found, and there's only like three characters that are actually capable of dealing damage. I mean, if you saw my uh, playthrough of the base game, you've heard all this already. Alright, that's another puzzle element. But it, it has, it's also been like almost a year since that playthrough. Coming back. <laughs> so yeah, we need this to put on here. Just arbitrary puzzles. <laughs> That's another thing I liked better in the first game were the puzzles. Especially in the uh, DK DLC. Even the fucking water one in front of the, uh, the temple entrance. <laughs> like that one. I don't enjoy having to go back and redo that one, but like... It's at least super unique and interesting. That's pretty much all I have to say multiple times. I do like how they reintroduce the puzzle elements though, because yeah, for people like me, it's been a while and I don't remember a lot of this. So I like the uh, the easing you back into the puzzle elements. It's like, oh yeah, this is a thing. <laughs> Forgot about that. Surprisingly few people have drawn have drawn Rosalina in her uh, Cursa getup. I think more people have drawn terminal montages like 
um, Venom Snake Rosalina <laughs> than <laughs> the Cursal one. Which I guess goes to show how uh, little overlap there is between the mainstream fan base and the Rabbids games. Must have been my imagination. What's going on here? Are we just matching the shape? <laughs> says. This must be fun if you're blind. Although I guess why are you playing a game like this if you're blind? first one was correct, but apparently it worked. <laughs> to lead the team since, like, the first stream of the base game. <laughs> and then we immediately replaced him. <laughs> so let's let Mario take the lead for a little bit. That's a, a big heal. A mega potion, if you will. A mega sandwich. Thirty-five. So yeah, I assume we'll be finding our way back to those. Cause I didn't see any side paths. within that dark mess puddle. <laughs> that must be the Melodic Garden's award-winning musicians trapped inside! Hurry! I mean, this is very pretty. <laughs> like, aesthetically, I'm loving this. Oh, we just 
just already have a boss stage? Cause yeah, I, th I think it was... Was it September or October last year that I played Sparks of Hope? When did it come out? <laughs> I think it was October. So almost a full year. Also, that guy's new. The dude with the cannon arm. <laughs> Vamp, get it. You're here to save those rabbits, right? You can free them by dashing the switches next to the cages. Beware those creatures, they can create small pools of poisonous darkness. I've never seen anything like it. We've never seen that before either. Better use the tactic cam to find out more about this new foe. Yeah, thanks, Bebo. Please do, if you win this battle, I get to leave here with you. After that, I'm Team Hero all the way. We have to do a lot of dashing here. So I think I'll keep edge. Got a C stooge. Oh yeah, Goombas, I forgot about them. A lot of C stooges. What do the big guys do? Field breaker. Oh, they resist every element. Ignores partial cover. So they're very beefy. has a lot of dashes. I don't think any of the uh, human characters do. They only get the one. Well, the Mario character is not necessarily human. <laughs> Loogie, you only get two. Rose only gets one, I remember that. How many do you get? Just two. have enough points for the area dash. I think you'd still be the most useful though, just for your incredible damage output. Oops. Yeah, Mario, you sit this one out. Oh yeah, what does the new guy do? Berserk. Hero deals 8% weapon damage and gains 8% damage resistance for every enemy within range. That could be cool. I'd prefer that as the passive and not the thing you have to activate though. <laughs> using her dashes against enemies.
how I want to handle this. are surprisingly dangerous if you leave them alive. <laughs> Can I hit both of you? Why are you going down there? Like, why would it not attack the low health? Dude, I hate the summons in this game. They're really cool in, like, theory. But in practice, they're kind of trash. <laughs> Settle for one of you. Or maybe with the crits, it would have been enough. Where the hell are you going? <laughs> there goes our summon. He didn't do a whole lot of anything. Go on. Got it. Okay, that's it. Don't.
four turn cooldown. Uh, yeah, I'd better, because her counterattack is worthless, as we've learned. <laughs> kind of just holding out for uh, Rabbit Peach to get over there. How much damage does that do? survive with 60, of course. Uh -huh. I have to use this here. Healing vibes, literally. Just stand like over here, so I can try to get that uh, other lamp. Mm. They can do that every turn, that's cool. Mm. to do that, really? Yeah. So this might just be a case of we can't split up. Like the whole team just has to stick together the whole time. being on the uh, damage puddle is a little not great. Oh, there's another one. Oh no, it's just a stooge. So I think, yeah, it's just the middle now. So we can kind of converge on that. Yeah, I'm not super worried if edge goes down. I have the revive. It's Peach I'm more worried about, because both of those guys are probably going to go for her. That wasn't enough. I hate these guys living on, like, no health. Can't heal at all. Go on. That kind of works in my favor, though. Might just be all you. 
rabid Mario. <laughs> Everyone else is uh, kind of dying. Wasn't enough. <laughs> Eight health, and this is what I'm talking about. This is what I don't like about Sparks of Hope. Like in the first game, you could very easily just do the math and be like, "Yeah, this will take him out." But this game is so reliant on crits and like little bits of its damage formula. This fucker survived all that with eight health. Like, <laughs> for fuck's sake. Rabbit Mario's got this next turn. That was messy, but we got there. I do like that they're just not holding back though. Like, this is World 6. Like, <laughs> shit's hard. Hi. I forgot all the rabbits have ball boar buys. Gardens. Oh yeah, that's right, each world is a warden. <laughs> Surely you can forgive my caution. Uh, I like her tuning stick. No offense. After all, you do not appear to be typical heroes now, do you? Uh, I like it. Uh, Thank you very much. The dark shadow. We have had our share of visitors recently. One, a sour note, seen in shadow only, orchestrates havoc here. Destroyed. <laughs> she sounds so pissed. It haunts the fallen stars to whom we gave sanctuary and throws our garden's melody into chaos. What? Uh. A spark hunter here? Not possible. We took care of them, all of them. Even so. I cannot say, only that they put my dear musicians in danger and terrorized the fallen stars. Monster. <laughs> and have driven my dearest friend into hiding, without whom we cannot perform our biophonies. Silence. Rose. And without our biophonies, the melodic garden will fade into nothingness, a silent coda to the galaxy. She really likes her music terms. Farewell. Beyond this gate is a little used passage that I hope she'll s shall see me find my friend unharmed. You may follow if you wish. Very long hair. I'm for twenty five percent already. Yeah, I don't think there's I don't think this is gonna take a whole hell of a long time. What do you mean, story progression 50%? <laughs> I 
And this is why I'm worried that the Rayman DLC isn't going to be nearly as expansive as the Donkey Kong one was. Because there was, there was a lot to the Donkey Kong one. I, I enjoyed how much there was to do in that. And it wasn't like super duper long or anything, but it was... It was a decent chunk. Vamp Gaddon joins the team. Meteors rain down upon enemies, each deals damage and heals the hero. Okay. Most used sparks upgraded. Claw would be a better summon. I like the attack increase that this gives you. And also the user is like really really good when it decides to do something useful. It just doesn't always do that. Also here we still have music. Uh, can I get anything? No, I need three for... Counter blow range, I don't really care about. Additional charges on it could be really good. They're so expensive though. This counter blow does additional damage based on the damage taken from the attacker. That could be good. Can't afford it though. More dashes? Can't afford it. <laughs> Stormblade range, kinda don't care. I have its damage max too, and it still like barely does anything. <laughs> oh whoops. There we go. Uh nope. <laughs> still can't afford anything. Oh, you don't have your health max. There we go. Mayro. Can't get anything. <laughs> Just don't care about Rabbit Loogie, unfortunately. He's not as busted as he was in the first game. May as well. And patch. Everything is super expensive. Alright. doesn't trust many outsiders, despite being one herself. He must be pretty special. The concert pawn is back. Alas, we can't play a full biophony yet. Guess that's why you're here. Grateful to 
have been rescued, but someone is still out there destroying our beloved biome. Who? getting hung up on the environment. I forgot those lore bits had, uh, they were voiced. <laughs> you can play audio, I forgot about that. No music for the, um, little blue coin puzzle rooms. Again, first game had music for those. <laughs> that way. She was an awful... she was in an awful hurry too. Is, is everything gonna be okay? Well, like Tails likes to say, everything will be okay. What are those? I love them. They're like little lizard dragonflies. <laughs> if you would join me. <laughs> right on time. Oh, I might be looking forward to this. Counting on it, actually. I heard a lot about <laughs> the galaxy's toughest fighters, Mario, Bowser, Edge. Enough. Funny, because I sure never heard of you. It's Kanya! Don't forget it! You'll need it when you're begging me for mercy. Perhaps it's you who should beg off! Not one of Casa Spark Hunters has proven capable of stopping us yet! I'm no Spark Hunter! I'm no puppet of curses. I've got my own plans for those sparks, and Cursa isn't a part of it. Whoever you are, you'll release my friend at once. Leave the sparks here alone and be gone. <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> you got it. Ooh, I almost forgot though. Your pet? It's probably too late for it. Someone should have said something earlier. <gasps> Forgive me. I am sorry, I truly am, but I must go. Where was I? Oh yeah, the difference between me and Cursa. I've got a king-sized vision for the future. Like a bubble. It's got wire limbs.
right into this. Proto Mega King Bomb. -Bom. This is only the prototype. <laughs> Until you do something about that giant robot shield, it's practically invulnerable. You need to use the ball bombs to do that. Kind of poetic, don't you think? I'll be able to escape here with you. Notice I said when, not if. Gotta think positive. <laughs> I won't be spending my money on anything else. <laughs> The shop in this game is always kind of worthless. So what do we got? He has 21,000 health. He resists everything. Cannot be dashed. Medium range area attack. Fires one projectile with a curved trajectory at a single target, exploding on impact. With all the high ground, this feels like a Luigi mission. Gotta deal with these guys, though. A lot of high health targets, actually. <laughs> the old standard. <laughs> oh, I don't remember what sparks I used to give to uh, Rosa. I mean, these are these are always fine. I like this one better than the reflector. I want to try mixing it up with different character combos, but like, most of the characters in this game just don't do damage, and I need damage for all these high health targets, so. Yeah, thanks, game. <sighs> Maybe I should hold on to that. That's a four turn cooldown. <laughs> it can't be dashed. Let's attract the king as well. Oh, we sure will. <laughs> he can't uh, get up there.
Ah, you know what? I want her in the back line. Let me just get everyone up here. Just away from the king. This doesn't cancel on me, right? Oh, it does. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have no control over that either, like, that just happens. <laughs> Not in range of that. That is a bit of a problem. Because I need to get rid of him. <laughs> so strong, huh? my cover spot. <laughs> you little bitch. Oh, god damn it. This fire effect. in our favor, at least. <laughs> Extra cheese. every turn. And if we're too close, that happens. Okay. And these are the portals that I can attack. Is that one of the jumpy guys? What do they do again? I guess we'll find out. As 
long as one of them is up. counter doesn't do anything, because this guy's invincible during his turn, so I'll just cloak. And then he can be the one to, um... next turn. Don't. These fights always seem intimidating, but Rabid, Mario, and Rosalina just absolutely... That was a lot of movement. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I forgot that slopes are super weird in this game and make no sense. Dance routine there. <laughs> We're just flying through levels. <laughs> I wonder if I can find, like, the one piece of lore that I missed in the base game now. Surely now, the guides have been, like, updated. Because <laughs> at the time... Did Kanya's reaction to losing the battle appear odd to you? It was almost as if she were... pleased. Given how hot-headed she is, I doubt we've seen the last of her. We must find Allegra immediately! She and her friend are still in grave danger! <laughs> Just because I have nothing better right now. May as 
We'll see if we can get any free shit. Like, some of these sound cool, but the fact that they're all purely chance-based, and they're, like, really low odds... <laughs> Just, no thanks, I'd rather take the guaranteed, like, damage increases and whatnot. This music sounds like Omori. Give me that extra dash. Sight again has potential to be incredible. <laughs> you know what? Forget that. And I'm assuming this only affects his basic attack and not hero sight. have everything that I like on Bowser. Again, Lugie doesn't matter all that much. Rabbit Lugie, he's just unfortunately not very good. They did my boy dirty in this game. <laughs> he was the best in the first game, and now he's just ugh, useless. Exhaust has potential to be cool, but, like... There are other characters that just have way better ways of disabling enemies <laughs> than he does. And Peach not having the ability to heal anymore... With heal jump and, like, just purely being a, a shield tank is not great. Like, she is definitely better than she used to be, but she's still not a character I love using. some of the battles here let me try out some other characters but so far it's not really looking likely the proto mecha king bob proto what makes kanya so formidable is that despite her erratic nature she exhibits genius level mechanical abilities that rival that of mama of berendale messa nope she's still saying messa the ego that drives her to set herself apart from her progenitor cursa drives her to minimize her use of darkness. Kanya is a self-made villain, vain and explosive, but as shrewd as they come. Wait. Oh, that didn't count as story progression, apparently. <laughs>
path is flooded. That water completely cuts us off from following Allegra on foot. Fortunately, the weight carrying capacity of that boat should be sufficient to ferry us after her. Yeah, wow. You call that a boat? Where's the wakeboard tower? going anywhere in this labyrinth without a boat, and I don't have my license. Hmm. This looks to be the first of several artworks depicting some of the history of the Melodic Gardens. <clears throat> some dawn songs ago, when the moon shone bright, a silver star fell upon the Melodic Gardens, wondered if it had come to lead us to the last melody. Whoa. What is the pink? Is that ground? <laughs> is it like sand? What's going on there? Field breakers are awful. I want to silence our song permanently. Can you defeat three of them to change their tune? I already did. <laughs> Where are we taking this? come back to this. We might open up like a bridge or something. Why is X to speed up? Oh yeah, there it is. Can I just walk through those bushes? Wait, hold on. Just walk through the bushes. That was a very Gura ah <laughs> you just did there, Luigi. Got it. Allegra. Allegra is a fascinating study. An echo musician of rare ability. She is perfectly in tune with the natural world. Even her skin's pigmentation adapts to its mood. She wields her biotuner like a baton, somehow bringing a unified vision to the collective sounds of an entire biome. It is her life's calling. It is not difficult to understand why, yet she is still somehow a mystery to me, one I fear I may never solve. She sounds very pleased about that. <laughs> Who is whispering? And like the camera doesn't auto turn, so I have to take my hand off of X to turn the camera. This is a horrible control scheme. <laughs> It doesn't matter too much, because it's just a simple little thing, but it's like, why would you design it like this? Oh 
Oh no, puzzles. I am two life forms beyond this gate. One significantly larger than the other. Lewd. It must be Allegra and a very large friend. Oh, I suppose Allegra and a very tiny friend. Let's just hope they're unharmed. <laughs> hmm. There are no traditional locks on this door. That tree is Prunus arpeggialis, more commonly known as a sweeping tree. It has a symbiotic relationship with musical entities known as mellospheres, eliciting layered frequencies in inverse... Yes, yes, again, please try to separate your love of math from music while we're here. Uh, I never thought I'd long for the days when we traced around looking for keys. <laughs> Let's find this sweeping tree and see if we can find out why the metal sphere stopped interacting with it. Oh yeah, I found a Korean animator that makes a lot of, uh, portal and just Valve game in general animations. Uh, Maggie C. <laughs> uh, Tiny Lolly Galados is not something I thought. I would find this morning, but <laughs> she's kind of adorable. Where are those heroes? I never did finish Portal 2. I need to get up there before I grab the cube. the mysterious whispers, I just wish they weren't so frequent. <laughs> no, like, like, maybe like once every minute instead of every like six seconds. <laughs> Just puts us up here. Oh, I get it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and now we can kick the ladder down. Stock like creaky noise is in like every Rayman game. <laughs> cool. Her. Her friend is a female.
so the purple is not sand. <laughs> or the pink, rather. That was a long one. <laughs> music. But also I don't have time for a full stage right now, so I will take my break now. sounding song. <laughs> Be right back.
I'm back. And these songs are really short. But at least it gives you some variety. Uh, that's not the right controller. Here we go. Very interested in this song. So yeah, that is a lot of enemies. Um, I hate to say it, but uh, <laughs> I need my crowd control. Uh, I think Lugie will be good here, though. An electro Quake. What are these guys weak to, actually? I mean, the big guys aren't weak to anything. Wait. Oh, you're different. Weak to ooze. Weak to burn. I don't think I want to use burn. So he has... Screech... and Vamp. I think I like the Vamp. I don't know... Oh, I have so many star bits. <laughs> Should probably actually use those, huh? Health isn't that bad.
reach him from here? No, not even close. Good shot. <laughs> Through the floor. Luigi might go down. <laughs> Which is fine, because we have a revive. Is that in range of... yeah, okay. <laughs> this is when I should have used um, the attack up spark. You can only vault if it's just the one block. Super deadly, they're just irritating. <laughs> oh, if it, it cancelled my. Heel jump, cool. Yeah, it wouldn't. 
Is that all they're spawning in? Is just one of those guys? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Too much of an effort to stop us there, huh? to upgrade. <laughs> Without music. Oh, it specifically has to be the roaming ones, that's right. That's stupid. It's the ones that are in the, uh, the overworld just wandering around. The random encounters, so to speak. Just another reason I like the first game better. a Sparks of Hope showcase on GDQ Hotfix recently, but I couldn't watch it all because I couldn't stand the uh, the runner. They irritated me. the purple bridge switch. to make this bridge solid, but where's the... I forgot you could do that. <laughs> but where's the switch for the bridge?
Oh, that's the point of moving that, okay. I didn't see this. I was wondering what the point of moving that block was. This part of the song, the whale, 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 just reminds me of Omori. So that's one that I probably should have done earlier. <laughs> Crosscode all over again. How do I get up there? Oh, I see. Well, hey, this one's lower leveled. Maybe I can use some subpar characters for it. <laughs>
yeah, sure, whatever. I don't care about Bowser. <laughs> I don't plan on using him too much. Magikoopas do. They resist everything. Area damage. Okay, they they suck. <laughs> and they have an attack hub. And there are many of them. What is this? Spell razor. Summoners. I still think Rapid Mario would be good here. Especially since he can attack while moving. Hoping these will just kill the eyes. No, they're going for the magic Koopa. That's annoying. <laughs> like, I can't skip this, I have to watch this. I didn't 
remember if those targeted uh It's gonna come back for those. <sighs> it's fine. I didn't know you could do this. <laughs> goes in a straight trajectory and that is it. of them. Again, they barely survived. <laughs> So bad, Bowser. That's not terrible. I need the bomb bombs to like not be here though. with them. 
They're kind of just stuck in that corner. I think I'll just leave them. <laughs> Want to give Bowser a chance, but he's just so fucking bad in this game. He's no Yoshi, that's for sure. Do something, I don't know. I can hit that guy. That's something. If <laughs> the dudes in that corner aren't even like attempting to contest us. Actually, I might be able to, to get that one. So take it over here. No, not that. Cool. Didn't even have to deal with all the summoners. Sorry, Lugi, you were absolutely not party leader. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm not I'm not satisfied with your performance, Bowser. <laughs> you can't do a whole lot. What else do we have on this map?
not from here. aren't as useful as they used to be. Did I just walk past this last time? Because <laughs> it's not hidden. Yeah, I didn't even see this. <laughs> Analysis reveals that this darkness puddle needs particularly formidable fighters to cleanse it, more so than usual even. I forget, are you limited to just these two in these stages? I think you are. I remember there was one with Lugi and someone that I struggled with. Because they were both like a single target damage in a stage where they sent like 40 dudes at you. <laughs> Title golems, so nothing else matters. It's just those four. Oh my god. Healers. Oh boy. Healers that do 2000 damage. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> but I already have everything else that's like good on Bowser, so whatever. Edge is fine.
Maybe it's a cloak. And that gives athlete. Yeah, let me do that. Bowser can have regen. Take the left side first, or at least try to. Because I want the high ground. Do they come to us? I imagine so. they did um just like neutral damage. Oh, they're all going for the healer. <laughs> the enemy is guaranteed to always have their uh, elemental effects in this game. Oh, we still can't reach the pipe? <laughs> Estimated the healers a little. Let's finish this. I really wanted that high ground, but it is like heavily protected. <laughs> I feel like... 
Koopas just don't do a whole lot. Not enough to be worth it. Barely surviving. This is why I don't like these guys. <laughs> I can't tell them who to target. We're all just gonna chill over there now. Go on. That's not good. <laughs> Go on. That's not good. So little, <laughs> Bowser's weapon sucks. Goddamn healers, I hate them.
gun. And of course, we're spawning in more. <laughs> because this isn't enough. Can I have both of them with that? No. One and done. So much health, too. This was my main issue with this game, is how just how health spongy all the enemies are. Going that way. Oh, for fuck's sake, I thought they would all go through the pipe. I hate this ability. <laughs> it's so bad. as it could have been. Completely useless. Garbage ability, that is. Two thousand damage! I like how they're looking at her. As if the uh, cloak is already worn off. <laughs> are off cooldown. Can I kill this guy? Just get rid of one of them. What health does this one have? Not much. Of course. Of course he would survive. Cancelled out by 
Zero damage. What? Just oh, because he has the shield. Stay there and don't chase. Go on. Head just taking some damage, though. Oh, this one's coming down. might also not be enough, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> it's not enough? <laughs> Kind of a horseshit level, huh? <laughs> Wow, it barely looks any different than the steampunk one. <laughs>
That's another thing I don't like about this game. The weapon skins are not all that varied. <laughs> Not very interesting, not worth going out of your way to get them all. They were a lot better in the first game. I mean, everything was better in the first game. side questing. I guess if I don't plan on using Character, then I can give them that. All right. All right. We of the Melodic Gardens will never stop. Why was Bebo just hovering there? Frog? Oh, he's hovering over the ship. Ah, just everything is here. Level 40. guy and a bunch of goombas.
Kill the Goomba. Because I don't have any other targets. Where are you going? talking about. Like, this team is so incredibly cracked. But like any other team I try to use, it just can't come anywhere close to the damage output of this team. And I might have to grab a fisherman's friend, because my throat is starting to hurt. For some reason. Gave him this. It's <laughs> got the area dash. Because the counter blow is cool, but I never. Use it. <laughs> it's very like situationally niche. I think she'd benefit more from the random item because I have her in most of my parties. Because she's our only healer. I want the extra dash on edge. Oh yeah, but of course the movement.
damage get anything worthwhile? Just an extra charge, sure, there you go. This place so musical, Madame Bostrella's dimensional drift departures never sounded so good. Not responsible for lost items! You long for the sweet sounds of victory, yes? Assemble your party for f full throated savagery awaits beyond the gateway. Full throated. <laughs> oh, weren't, weren't these also annoying? Where is the gateway? That's a very Rayman looking portal. I'll be a lot, like, more jovial, hopefully, once we get to the Rayman DLC. This one's just, this one's okay. This is fine. I'm not hating this, but I'm not really loving it either, which was how I felt for the entirety of <laughs> Sparks of Hope in general. Oh, hey! Okay, everything must die. These guys are weak to ice, weak to shock. <sighs> Fucking medicans are back. This is basically the same map, but with an extension. <laughs> very, very similar. I think I'm gonna keep the uh, crew together for this one. the user is going to do here. I might... I'm thinking an oozer up here on the high ground would actually be really good. But also, there's just so much shit that I need damage for. So. I don't want to pop this this early, but I'm also separating the squad. The Gravid Mario is going to go off and do his own thing. Keeping the girls together, though. Oh, that is a tiny area. That effects. There's no way for me 
to hit the uh, healer in that. That's irritating. Oh, I guess I'll have to make do with this. the damage increase from, you know, the damage up star, but I think it's more important to just uh, uh -huh. disable these dudes currently. That's not enough to kill. I can shoot that guy. These guys are still on weed. That lasts a long time. Suppose I could reach. No, can't reach him with that. Unfortunate. I don't really want to put my backs to all the enemies down there. I want to target the one with more health.
poison damage does go first. Because one of them just died. <sighs> oh my god, these pigs. They make just the most atrocious noises. Oh, you're coming to us. Okay. Spreading out. They have so much fucking health. That's what I'm talking about. Just <sighs> enemies in this game are so spongy. Which doesn't make for a very fun time, in my opinion. Are you really gonna survive this? <laughs> So what is their other ability? It has a counter. 3,000 damage on that. No variance. Just <laughs> 3,000 damage. Yeah, this one over here died. The on me on that one is worn off. him for a turn. Uh, that tiger is coming for us. Wow, good shot. Coming up here. Hi. Oh, he countered my counter. What the fuck? <laughs> You can't do that, you cheating prick. isn't a way to clear that, so I can't use my Onwe Dash. Another healer deleted. 
Did you? I just fucking soft lock. I can't get out of this menu. You're shitting me. Also, Peach is just like completely frozen. Fucking game, Ubisoft. I get to do that whole level again. I guess there's a reason I never use items. <laughs> Signing up to your shitty service. Does it auto save at the start of fights? Same fight. Probably have to redo our. Uh... Ah, no, we don't actually. <laughs> so, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Having to do all this again just because the game was like. It just took control away from me. I couldn't get out of that menu. <laughs> that was the stupidest thing. Be better to go for the uh Hill died of the 
poison damage. And he's just straight up dead. I think that's a better opening. <laughs> Still have these guys to contend with. We'll live. Pigs are hoping to accomplish. No, where are you going? Oh, for fuck's sake. This weird movement. <laughs> have gone off script. <laughs> Can I not dash both of you? on his way. I can just barely not reach this dude. Wonderful. <laughs> That's a guaranteed hit. I'm gonna take that. Attack, because they'll just counter his counter. <laughs> that guy's back.
Hi. Alright, Peach can't move for this turn. Are they not attacking? I think they're not even making an attempt. Interesting. Aw, oh, 2,000 health. Don't do that. Okay, well he can cloak again, so... Let's get started on the big Has to be an angle where I can hit both. There we go. Turn or two. So Mario can get over there. Ah, here he comes. Okay, can't, can't put that off any longer. <laughs> Have to use it. Super safe. The guaranteed kills. <laughs> and no kills. It's unfortunate. Oh, they're just 
chill in there. Okay, that's fine. How much health do you have? left and they're all up here. Attack up. Get Mario up there. Just cloak him so he can't be counterattacked. I should have went for him second. But you know what? Doesn't matter. Weirdo. Like how it's all we got. <laughs> all that, and that's all you get. get a little more for the quest completion. and I can get her last dash. Six years designing the perfect marimba, and now its parts are scattered. Find them for me.
taken this. That's what the sphere is. It's up here. Music in this has been very good. Ambient, but good. But again, with that dream team of composers that they got, <laughs> the music in the entire game is super good. Honestly, the best part of the game. was just on like one of the triggers instead like for accelerate having to let go of accelerate in order to change the camera every single time is really annoying. And they could have fixed that by just putting accelerate on a better button. Or making the camera like auto turn better. But they did neither of those things, so also there's so many sub areas here.
break this? Oh, yeah. There's a golem. I don't need golems for a side quest, though, so I'm not fighting you. how we've had two whole new enemies and then the rest is just stuff we've already seen Here. So all this was was oh my god, this is so hard to control. Just turn. It doesn't turn if the camera's not off. This is the worst. Who designed this? I guess I'll have to claw so I can actually like do this properly. Oh there's up here. Just you here? Clock is really good. Where am I taking this?
Tage. Every time that pops up, I want to go, you got a brandy need. Ow. I think that was this whole section. I missed some coins, but whatever. How do I get up there? Fuck. <laughs> Hold on. It's just a ladder. <laughs> Also, it, it, it is break time, so let's take a break before we tackle another level. Thank you. 
I'm back. I actually got back a minute ago. I just this is one of my favorite songs in the game, so I wanted to listen. To it. <clears throat> Pretty much all of the Yoko songs are my favorites. Not all of them. She has one. One of the battle themes in Berendale Mesa is uh, not super great. <laughs> It's really repetitive and annoying, and of course, that's the song they use for, like, 80% of the fights in that world. Instead of the much better, uh, Ballad of... Ballad of Berendale Mesa, I believe, is the Gareth Coker battle song for that world. And it is so much better. <laughs> and they only use it, like, twice. Defeat all again. Ah, more of the vamp guys. Oh no, these are oozers. They have even more health. <laughs> and more healers, because of course. Uh, I think the strat here is let them come to us. Master is fantastic with him. Uh, I want this on him though, so I can delete as many of those uh, oozers at once as I can. You know what? I'm gonna risk not having ethering. I can't pair these, but I can do one. You know this one turn, this the other turn. And then patch. What do I want on patch? How many healers are actually here? Like, I don't think I need Toxic Wake here. Especially since the users are uh, resistant to it. And there's all these guys. There's so many of them. I'm gonna give her the reflector, I think. Then she can just bounce damage back. the end of the last fight, but oh well. What can you do? So this is mainly what I'm concerned about, these three guys just all right here. With their three trillion health.
Well, let's just double down. Buffing us. I think what I might do. That's what I can't go invisible. Uh, that's nearly. Bring everyone over. these guys to sleep. <laughs> I think there's, yeah, just the one that uh, didn't get affected. And now... <laughs> now we will do all the damage. I'm going to hunt down with a uh, Mario here. can't attack. Right. Man, these guys are fucking annoying. <laughs> I 
really. You can just do that every turn. Oh no, now I can't use abilities. Infinite health. Creep. I got yeah, ten thousand health on like that many regular enemies is just not <laughs> not a good time. It's like every single enemy is a mini boss. Allegra set herself free using the melody of our gardens, and in doing so, set us free. She is the Melodist, and she will guide her biophonies with the wondrous beast at her side. I feel, I feel like we missed some. <laughs> Some dawn songs ago, when the moon shone not as bright, a dark star fell upon our gardens, and the wondrous beast disappeared. Many wondered if our wild songs would soon disappear with it, and if our melodic gardens would become silent forever. Lore obtained. I never found a uh, fast travel flag. There's probably one at that story objective. Ow. I just have to get it. Yep. 
This happens every time. Like every time I play Sparks of Hope, I, it just makes me want to play Kingdom Battle instead. Like the only thing Kingdom Battle doesn't have that this game has is Rosalina. <laughs> That's it. But then you know, Rabbit Luigi's way better in Kingdom Battle. I'm not like the biggest fan of Rabbit Yoshi. But normal Yoshi is way better than Bowser. Edge is better than um Rabbit Yoshi though. Rabbit Yoshi just like every there are other characters that do the same things that he does better. <laughs> so his his one use is that he has a trillion dashes. And there are a couple challenge maps where that's actually really helpful. But other than that, he just Unfortunately, doesn't see much use. <laughs> the is yeah, there's our quick travel. So the whole thing, all three melospheres were captured and locked in different cages in the floating rooms. This looks like it could be a Pikmin base. Kerns, do I have? I have a few kerns. just so uninspired. Like, <laughs> they've already done blue and gold. Why are they doing it again? Also, I never... F oh no, here's the steampunk ones. Also, I find it weird that Rabbit Rosalina didn't get a galaxy skin. The steampunk skins are still the best ones, for the most part. The game isn't really selling me on any of the others. Treasure maps are confusing. Hello, EGAD. <laughs> Mayhem. <laughs> Heroes, wow, am I glad to see you. I found a treasure chest, but it's locked! The only clue about how to open it is an ancient pirate riddle. Rise beacons, ancient and weathered, rise and point the way to one another, and treasure! So, we are heroes! To expend effort extracting some treasure from its hiding hole would be vulgar and unethical. But, if someone asks for our help to recover treasure, well, that's a bird of a different feather. There are five pillars. Together they should unlock the chest. I can raise them, but I can't turn them on. Beepo, while the inner workings of the pillars are sophisticated, one of your Beepo powers may be able to activate them. <laughs> Once the chest is open, I'll have no reason to stick around. I'll put my special abilities to work just for you. Neat.
Allegra, you're cute, but like, <laughs> please stop whispering in my ear. My nose won't stop itching. It's annoying me. Assuming it's not timed, like I can just. Oh my god, ship. Why do you control like this? <laughs> Still need to find that dude's piece. this? Kanye's ship, maybe? Kanye's drafting table. The birthplace of how many unspeakable monstrosities? I dare not guess. And she doesn't sit on an exercise ball. That means she probably has lower back discomfort. Good. <laughs> Beepo, advocate of violence. I still haven't found any on the map for that, uh... I think for these f overworld... There we go. For these overworld fights, I'm just gonna lower the difficulty. And then when we get back to actual story fights, I'll put it back to normal, but yeah, these... These enemies just have a little too much health for my liking. And I don't like it when every single regular fight is a huge slog. Oops. Everyone get over here. to level up. 
up. But well, we'll get there. Oh, we can dash. It's fucking X. <laughs> Why is it X and not like B? <laughs> this game. Because <laughs> I was like, I seem to recall there being a dash function, because I remember Rosalina having lines complaining that she has to run. Yeah, it's, uh, hidden. <laughs> Are you too fully healed yet? <laughs> it went up! The price goes up. <laughs> Defeat all. see cannons in a battle. That's kind of cool. area dash. Hmm. Oh, I have to kill everything. <laughs> Not just the two dudes. I 
tried to pick it up. Semi slow mo. <laughs> and again, he just randomly had fire damage for no reason. Why is that a thing? <laughs> like, sometimes it's helpful, and then other times it's like, oh good, you gave me an element that everything on this stage resists. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, game. If it was something I could control, it would be cool. Like, if there were just like pickups, like temporary. Just for this turn, you get this element pickups on the field. But no, it's just random. You just start your turn, and you may or may not have random elements on your weapons, and there's no rhyme or reason to it that I can uh, discern. Get rid of that. Actually... Up slot. <laughs> so, one, one more level. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fully healed yet. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. Something. 
this here here is a poor little spark trapped inside that darkness puddle. Oh, there he is. Tried to free it, but I can't get close enough because of those conveyor belts. Lethal. Analysis of this facility reveals that the spark is intended for use as a power source for some complex mechanism. Must be a really powerful spark. It might even have a special ability. I bet it could be a big help to you. I mean, the last time we did something like that, it was a useless summon, so I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> I don't care if its special ability is competitive duck herding. We will save that spark. Maybe you can stop the conveyor belts with the wrenches. Stick them right into the mechanism. I'll leave one here in case. Oh, is that what the wrenches are for? Just the dumb gimmick? Okay. bombs and then just a single stooge. Have to do it.
boy, near Automata. Or just near in general. Block puzzles. Except not nearly as uh, complicated as near, because <laughs> you can move them from the sides. Unfortunately, then activate the ground buttons to free the spark. I wish their health and damage were two separate things. <laughs> it's like it lower their fucking spongy health but keep their damage up. That'd be nice, because that's the only thing I don't like, is that every single regular enemy having 10,000 health just becomes a fucking slog after a while. And that's why I only use this team and nobody else, because no one else can do damage. <laughs> Oh, we got the super snipers. Oh, looks like it's another dash spark, which I rarely ever use. Can't get it to hit both. There we go. Again, good music. I probably should have started with the shield, but oh well. I 
can't get a range, can I? Not quite. Sniper's a bigger threat. I would, I would like him to not exist. Glitchy. Summons are just so worthless sometimes. Sniper. <laughs> the area dash seems not very good. Some actual bob bombs. Where are they? <laughs> okay, they spawn in the portals. Loser might actually be a bit of a problem because <laughs> he's gonna shoot the ball bombs. Actual threats are gone. Well, there's still Laka over there, but whatever. Yeah, this isn't my favorite level. <laughs> it's a lot of uh, arbitrary waiting around. I, 
guess I could just like wait next to the uh they're all going that way. To this, and if a ball bomb decides to come through, he'll just automatically blow up on her and activate the thing. threat. I don't want to drag the bob bomb over here. <laughs> there we go. Just the enemies. Get away from this side. Let me just get everyone. Let me get everyone over there so the bob bombs only have one place to go. Because these guys are gonna come for us, yeah.
I survived that? Need one of you to reach the pipe. Where the hell's that one going? either, but... <laughs> it was just tedious. Cryo dash. Oh, yeah. Never gonna use you. <laughs> really didn't want to be used as a power source for some awful machine. Living thing should ever have to act as a battery against their wishes. The idea is repugnant. Regardless, you're safe with us. We'll just need you to lend us your powers. Deal? Did he just contradict himself? <laughs> Created by Cursa to lead the rest of the Spark Hunters after their first commander went rogue. An experience Cursa might well have learned from. Kanya, seeing her role of Cursa's lackey as beneath her, struck out on her own in an effort to usurp her creator and conquer the galaxy. Her inferiority complex has made her more ruthless than any of her former subordinates. One of three Gala mutations found on the Melodic Gardens. They were rejected by their creator, Cursa, who found them lacking. They have since been repurposed, with their DNA altered by person or persons unknown. This subspecies unleashes a seismic splash-based attack affecting all those around it. Seismic. When defeated, it enters a chrysalis-like state. If not dashed, it is reborn. It is weak versus shock-based attacks. Okay, so whoever this lady is, she just... She just... Pronounces One every word. Of three wrong. Why are you still going? <laughs> she just says words wrong. Okay, I gotcha. We have encountered a multitude of formidable foes to whom Cursa has given all manner of twisted abilities. Though that is not what concerns me most about these foes in particular. To be sure, the technique that creates small dark mess pawns is direful, and they have no specific weaknesses. But I detect something else. Someone has altered its dark mess infused DNA post creation, long after Cursa. Who and why? Kanya, probably. I don't think I'll be finishing this tonight, but probably tomorrow, and then we can just get started immediately on Rayman. Because I have two more hours, and I don't think I'm finishing all of this in two hours, but we can get pretty damn close. Time. Oh, it's the treasure hunter guy. Uh, my rucksack. It's 
really soaked through. They discovered a fascinating bit of history here. More importantly, another riddle that needs solving. <laughs> Listen carefully. In the chock block mind, it is rare to find the calm that composition takes. Clear your head with a, a wander. The clues are beyond here, but can be stored in the space that you make. somehow in relation to the symbols. How? Not to boast, Professor Backpack, but since you last saw us, we became boat owners. Leave the clue finding to us. Boat owners, we kind of just took that boat <laughs> without asking. Allegra came to the farm to lead her by Ophany, and so we joined her. The music was loud and traveled far, and the pond trembled as a wondrous beast rose from the water. Oh, the wondrous beast is Dory. Gotcha. <laughs> Oh, you know what? It has been a while since I've saved. And by a while, I mean I haven't saved once this entire session. Here's one of the guys I need for that quest. I finally found one! <laughs> Hours later. This really does just feel like content that should have been in the base game. <laughs> Again, just shitty modern DLC. <sighs> hey, spark gift procked. It might have been procking a bunch and I just didn't, wasn't paying attention. I want to get dashed off the level. That's the only thing.
two of three. Even though we've killed like 20 of those guys today, but nope, it specifically has to be ones that are on on the overworld, just wandering around. Shoo! Is it all that was up here? Okay. Ow. going on here. Safe. Just a big ass flower. <laughs> Golem hunt. That would have been nice before I went into the uh, level 40. I just want to see what this is. Cause level 40 makes me think we should come back to this later. <laughs> easy mode, I could just do this. But it would probably be way more interesting if I came back to it at the proper level. The thing is, though, I don't even plan on hitting the max level. Like, I don't want to spend a ton of time with this DLC, so I'm just gonna do this. Sorry. And you know, one pretty good way to survive is if there's uh, no enemies. Tigger? I can. Half his health?
That is a horrible position. <laughs> Bomb. Oh shit, this one could reach the pipe. about that whole section. I'm gonna use the same strategy, even if I came back at level 40. It would just take longer, because everything would have a trillion health. many bombs. Oh, this might be bad, actually. If we set off the bombs... Oh, hello! One more bomb for good measure. Just, just, why not? Oh, and my wizard's being useless again? Cool. <laughs> but <laughs> Oh. 
was hoping to get both of them, but... <laughs> she had the stupid burn effect. Randomly. For no reason. say no one's allowed in. Because <laughs> <laughs> that'd be pretty incredible if I could just block that. <laughs> well, except now they're all just going to try to go around that way. Yeah. Well, no, my... <laughs> my poor Uzer got one shot. <laughs> God, how much is in this one portal? Very little bit. <laughs> But I can't just chill here. Thank you. 
bomb bombs are going to take up all the actual, like, useful places for enemies to stand. This guy can still hit me. Well, his range is a lot farther than I thought it was. garbage mission that was. Yeah, I'm glad I decided not to come back to that and make it harder for no reason. <laughs> we could just do it there. It just doesn't have any, like, definition to it. It's just a flat color, well, kind of like this. Oh, that's what's happening, I see. That's annoying, because I'm playing on easy, it's fucking auto-filling. We just got a skill prism, where is it? <laughs> just realized only some only some abilities are like sparkly what's up with that <laughs> what about second breakfast
I'll probably just fight the golems on my own in between streams. <sighs> All right, these annoying goombas. One HP, but are invincible unless you flip them. Also, man, these loading screens are long. <laughs> Just brings me back here. That doesn't do me any good.
I take this? That's where I want to bring the egg to. Where do I bring the cube? So let me check down down this way. Here it is. It's a hell of a roundabout. Just for that. Survive again. I think I'm just gonna leave it on easy. <laughs> I don't care. Ha! 
Oh boy, more bombs, more annoyances. Another little guy. Another little guy. And a bomb. <laughs> All part of a balanced breakfast. And the exact same way, okay. <laughs> That's what we're doing, huh? The same way. <laughs> They're just repeating the same thing over and over and over. No, summon him over here. Entirely. Like in Advance Wars and Fire Emblem, just skip the boring shit that you already know is about to happen. Well. 
Oh, hey, that was actually helpful. Get it, randomly gives her shock damage, which is useless right now. <laughs> missions like this, <laughs> where it's just to survive the same couple, of, like the exact same wave just over and over and over. I don't know, <laughs> like this is just reaffirming why I don't like Sparks of Hope. It's just tedious. Every battle is a slog. find that. We're actually doing a good job, like, cleaning everything up. Like, the actual map design is really good. <laughs> I like how all the stuff, like, leads to each other, and you eventually just get everything by manner of Exploration.
Where's my... Like, what just immediately leaves? Like, there's no... Hesitation, there's no little scene of like, oh, I'm free, it's just, no, he's gone. Just instantly. <laughs> the moment that darkness is gone, he's... So was he. <laughs> just, okay, see ya. <laughs> I'm out of here. Alright, well, I think this is a good time for another break. This one won't be as long. Because I only have an hour left. I just need to stretch. You're back. And I'm back. Think she gets bored just sitting there repeating the same whispers over and over? <laughs> I'm like I'm not even like taking my time like I usually do. I am actively trying to get through this as quick as I can while still getting everything. Green 
coin challenge? What makes that any different from the red coin challenge? Did I approach it from the wrong angle? I don't see any coins. <laughs> Approached it from the wrong angle. Ah, he'll need five. Well, you get her some coins. Well, the first game also just gave you coins for everything, but the coins, like, mattered more in the first game. Because <laughs> that's how you got all your weapons. Funny you should say that, Bebo. <laughs> so yeah, they, they planned from the start to have him come back in the Rayman DLC. Beacon. The Battle of Bacon Beach. is where we came from, so I must have just missed one in the middle somewhere. Why was only that one hidden? <laughs> Beepo, with the fifth and final beacon activated, the treasure chest should be unlocked. And none of the rest. Quick, let's hurry back before it's stolen by mutinous buccaneers! Uh, I just think how disappointed our new spot friend would be if that happened.
Oh, I have to open it. Needle speedo. Yes! The chest is unlocked! Let's open it so we can roll around in gold doubloons and dream ourselves with pals! It's probably a fight. Gardens further out of balance. We must cleanse it immediately. I swear I didn't know. Honest, I thought it was probably a bunch of rusty fishing tackle. No, no, this is my fault. I brought this on myself. Eighty-three. Well, this will be easy. <sighs> it better not be survive again. <laughs> Defeat all, I can do that. Oh no! This battlefield is cursed! Must be a pirate thing. What does that mean? While direct attacks with weapons are prohibited. Our techniques, movement abilities, and spark powers are available. That sounds awful. Why would you do that? So I just can't use my weapons at all, and they still have trillions of health. Well, we have explodey barrels. Is everything on the stage weak to? I saw healers, so I'm bringing Toxic Wake, which just sounds like Toxic Croak. Uh, these guys, we shock. All right. Because if I can't physically attack, then I'll need to be able to. Uh... These are sparks.
go. Here we go. I mean, it's... Bloody's a chunk. Yeah, five enemies. Have a bounce effect. So much health that you have to slog through. She can't do anything else. <laughs> so I guess I'll just have her chill there. the uh, pipe. Hold on. Come on, Patch. Catch the other vamp dude in that. Return cooldown, Jesus. Wider blast radius than I was expecting.
you, Mama. Don't crash my game this time, thank you. So strong, huh? Like Vinny noises. We may have released a dark mess puddle into an area of Melada Gardens that was otherwise out of harm's way. But at least we got, uh, this? Oh, what a letdown. These are everywhere. What an adventure. Well, a promise is a promise. Hope you have room for one more in your crew. My friend, you are a pleasant reminder that it's not about glory and riches, but the friendships we make along the way. Permission to come aboard granted, matey! <laughs> <laughs> Or 
Okay, Mayhem, what do you do? Hypnotize. Confuse one random enemy within range. 35% chance to confuse two additional targets. Confused enemies will target their allies. And it has athlete. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. I feel like that's not enough to warrant... Actually, you know what? Let me get rid of, um... Oozer. And I'll see if Petch can't, uh... Nine meters is pretty short. But I'll give it a... I'll give it a shot. It's something new. Why is it I can understand poetry from an analytical, even an emotional standpoint, but so much about music is beyond my understanding? I thought perhaps the exercise of creation would yield more insight, and so I composed a melody. I shall have to ask Allegra what she thinks of it. Perhaps she could teach me to understand better the connection between music and its ability to affect the emotions. Last marimbo piece has to be somewhere in this vicinity, because you can't bring it with you on the boat. Try to get this door open in the time I have left. Where's the pier in this section? There it is. Escorting Toad, apparently. They have all this new music and then they just reuse this one song. Which, at least it's a Yoko song, it's a really good one, but also, like, why? Oh, we don't have to escort Toad, we just have to reach... ...the area.
layout looks familiar. I think I think they're reusing stages. <laughs> Peach has no fucking movement range. Snipers. Oh yeah, he's got some climb walls. Way more damage to her.
Oh, hello. <laughs> Didn't see you there. That's such a small range. Everyone get over here. <laughs> would have been better here. I've never mentioned that I really hate that noise. <laughs> Distinctly annoying. <laughs> Tried and they failed.
next fight will be a story one. Gardens, drawn by our wild songs, as so many had before her. Show the stranger nothing of the secrets we said. She will destroy our wild songs, and the lost melody will stay hidden forever. Is that like a young Allegra? Oh, there's a dude hiding back there. I didn't, didn't even see him. And one random remaining group. and will you 
use that. But hey, it's something. It's just cool being able to max out some more things. Which isn't something you could really do in the base game. So like one tree per character and that was it. These upgrades are all just stupid expensive. <laughs> to anything in it, simply to make her command post inaccessible to anyone but her. Thankfully, we found a crude but serviceable boat left behind by her minions. All in all, I find spark hunters much more dangerous on their own, at least when under Curse's command they behave somewhat predictably. The melody of our gardens, we said. Watch, she will uproot the drum plants and shake plants and steal them away to her planet. And so we watched, we watched, and also we listened. <laughs> Just as racist as humans. Oh no, someone new. Must be here to ruin everything because that's all people who aren't us do. I was hoping to get this last little bit here done, but I might have to just call it here. Because I'm going to be going over and I don't want to do that. I also have a headache. This last frog next time. So that's all the sparks. I did find the hint for that, uh...
we'll leave off with this music, but... She never stops whispering. <laughs> there, I'll just do that. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be it for now. Uh, tomorrow we will finish this and then immediately start the Rayman DLC, because that's like mainly why I'm playing this again. Last Spark Hunter... Honestly, now that I am playing it all the way through, I realize, like, yeah, I probably... I could have just played this on my own. Like, <laughs> I could have just... Whatever. We're already here. I'll finish it tomorrow. But yeah, the Rayman one is the one that I'm really excited for, because much like DK, you know, completely different character, I am... hoping that they gave it a similar treatment and that it's... a whole big-ass thing with its own mechanics and... Because this is just the same shit, but there's two whole new enemies, wowie. <laughs> but otherwise it's just another world in the same game, like oh boy. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really super into this one, but hopefully the Rayman one is good. It's just a shame too, because I love the first game so much, and I love the Donkey Kong expansion so much. <laughs> like, they're both so incredible. And Sparks of Hope is just a letdown overall. The music is fantastic. But everything else is eh. <laughs> but yeah, we'll finish this tomorrow. So, that's it for now. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Stay fresh. <laughs>